First up in the show, we head north to investigate the leading causes of patchy reproductive performance in cattle, which is costing producers at least $15 million every year. Now producers are joining a major research effort to turn that around mob by mob. Jane Drinkwater reports. Only a few hours old, this little calf is one of dozens that will take their first tentative steps on Jim Viner's property over the coming weeks. This year we, we're carving down just over 600 cows and we'll be joining those 600 plus 100 um, heifers for the first time. Maximising the number of healthy calves is high on the list for cattle producers, but achieving optimal reproductive performance is rarely the norm. Our reproductive performance on average for the last sort of 20 years sits around 85%. In fact there's huge variation across the industry, even between neighbouring properties. A number of factors are known to influence reproductive performance, but how does a producer know where to begin for the greatest improvement per dollar invested? Is it nutrition or breeding, animal health or mating strategy or something else? That information could be on the horizon thanks to the Northern Australian Beef Fertility Project, better known as Cash Cow. The Cash Cow Project will provide, uh, for the first time, a highly accurate database of the reproductive performance of Northern Australian beef herds, identification of those factors that are having the, the greatest impact on reproductive performance and the likely return by changing uh, the impact of those factors. The end result? Information on where producers should focus their resources for the greatest productivity gains. So for their particular enterprise and location, climate, they'll be able to determine what's the most important things to concentrate on and the, what are the things that are less important. And that's the information that we don't have at the moment. The Cash Cow project runs for four years and it's being conducted on real commercial properties with real commercial herds. It's an investment of $2.1 million. It covers uh, enterprises and herds in Queensland, the Northern Territory and WA. Uh, it deals with a large number of cattle over 50,000 head and enterprises, over 50 enterprises and 100 herds. Don White, whose 4,000 strong cattle operation supplies the live export market out of Darwin, sees the benefit in being involved. Uh, we volunteered to, to participate in the Cash Cow project as a bit of an opportunity to benchmark yourself against some other producers and hopefully gain some inside information on how to fine tune your herd and get the best results out of what you're doing I think. It'll probably help you identify which of the uh, aspects of reproduction are most profitable to target. While the study involves significant participation from producers, their contribution is crucial. Records that are required um, are basic things as far as rainfall, also when you're breaking the season, when your real uh, breaking the season comes, recording paddock condition and, and um, pasture condition. We also do dung sampling. And then at pregnancy testing, there's, there's a lot of measuring and so on there, hip height and pregnancy um, tests. Pregnant? At weaning, there's all, weighing all weaners to work out actual kilograms turned off, um, working out how many weaners you turn off compared to cows joined. And it involves collaboration between a number of par industry partners. And we have over 50 producers and 100 of their mobs uh, throughout Northern Australia. Each enterprise in each location um, is likely to have very different drivers of, of reproduction and fertility. So um, it won't be the, the you know, um, one shoe fits all. It'll be tailored, um, tailored solutions for each enterprise. If as many producers can get in, involved with it, we'll get as much information from different pasture types, different cattle types, different management systems and so on, that hopefully they'll find something that at the end of it that, that can help everyone. Basically if we can identify a small thing to, to improve our pregnancy rates, to identify that one thing would be fantastic.